What will be the best way to build the PKMLMG? Let's find out. PKM is a full auto high damage machine gun which has the only usage of playing passive behind a head glitch and firing over the lanes offering crowd control. It really isn't meant for playing aggressive or for run and gun playstyle, thus doing a mobility stack like this wouldn't be the optimal way to build the PKM. Going over the damages and ranges, PKM has a consistent 4 shot kill range till 25 meters with 286 milliseconds time to kill. And in this range we have potential for 3 shot kill if we can hit 1 headshot. The higher damage hitbox is for chest and upper arms so aiming to the head is always recommended as due to the bullet spread our bullets will have probability of hitting head, chest or upper arms as 1 headshot is all we need for 3 shot kill else we need 3 chest shots which will be very inconsistent. Thus hitting 1 headshot is important important for the PKM. PKM also has a moderate 630 rounds per minute fire rate which has a punishment value of 95 milliseconds so each missed bullet adds 95 milliseconds to our time to kill. Then till 33 meters we have a damage drop but still maintain a consistent 4 shot kill. However due to lesser damage we need 2 headshots now for a 3 shot kill. Else we need to hit 1 headshot and 1 chest shot which due to bullet spread if we aim to head then chances of hitting chest is likely thus we can potentially get 3 shot kills till 33 meters with 190 milliseconds time to kill. By the way, do help support the video by leaving a like and commenting something nice. The final range is from 34 meter onwards and PKM drops to 5 shot kill with 381 milliseconds time to kill. At this range, while statistically there is potential for faster time to kill hitting head or chest, practically due to bullet spread and enemy hitbox being smaller, 5 shot kills will be the norm here. Thus, there are two things. First, our effective range is 33 meters with PKM. PKM and boosting this range is the way to go. But second, we don't need to stack both range attachments like this as due to bullet spread limitation we won't be able to convert this potential boost in range to performance in practice. Coming to recall, the recall simply goes straight up and continues going up. It is a gun with the simplest of recall patterns because to control it we only need to just pull down and we can pretty much no recall it without needing any recall attachments. Why recall attachments aren't that useful but can be used nonetheless. The aim shake which is the shaking of the iron sights is pretty bad which we can get used to over time as we play more with it. Else we can apply some optic if you want which does not really help with aim shake that much but can be used if you want. Coming to bullet spread, nothing much to say except it's around the average for LMGs. Thus always be keeping this accuracy bar in green color minimum and improving it with BS attachments will help our long range capability. Do join our discord server where we post these weapon statistics and gunsmith builds the first, link in description. Coming to mobility, since PKM is a LMG, mobility will be slow and we have 37 frames for ADS speed and sprints to fire values are pretty standard. For comparison, most guns are around 15 frames ADS speed so building mobility and trying to make a slow gun still be slower than average is going to be pointless. Why I mentioned mobility build isn't the way to go. Not only the ADS speed, the movement values are also slower and we have the slowest ADS movement in the entire game. Why I call the PKM a human sentry because once the ADS we barely move and this also puts more emphasis to aim because we need to kill the enemy before they can kill us. We have 100 bullets in the mag which we can reload in 6.9 seconds, nice. For the full reload animation and 5.2 seconds if reload cancel. Due to slower reloads having more ammo is beneficial while the 200 mag is a good attachment to use. And while I usually don't cover weapon switch times as they are not important, PKM also has a really slow race time which takes over a second and drop time is much nicer in comparison. Which again makes playing aggressive or run and gun with this weapon not optimal due to how slow it is. Lastly, since PKM is a LMG, it has high bullet penetration and FMG makes it even better so for LMG playstyle that is a must have attachment. All of these stats are thanks to Team Cygnus. And if you need more in-depth stats or best gunsmith builds, join our discord server. We have everything available there, link in description. Gunsmith for PKM is quite straightforward and the stats pointed in the right direction either way. We need to boost the 33 meter range and we have Mono, Ranger and Marksman. Ranger is pointless since it does not offer any recall reduction and ADS speed is similar to Marksman. Thus either go for Marksman or Mono. I personally recommend Mono since it offers sound suppression and 33 meter range is boosted till 45 meters which is more than enough and does not have the mobility debuffs like the marksman. If you use marksman we will need to use the tactical suppressor 
as LMG usually have sound suppression which will be even slower to use why only mono is best. Then 200 mag in FMJ and finally to improve the BSA, laser and granulated. This is the best overall build for PKM which has enough range and BSA for using it effectively for the ranges we need to play while also having FMJ for better wall penetration and 200 mag so we barely need to reload. Based on that build, there are some variations. If we don't need 200 mag, then we can use the no stock for improved mobility or the snatch foregrip. I personally don't recommend using this as the overall recall is barely any different, why no stock is the better option. Some use LMG for search and destroy too and don't like using the laser, so remove that for no stock. And finally, as alternative to granulated, we can use the steady stock, which gives improved flinch and we can use any other attachment we want. Out of all the builds we tested, this one was the best for LMG place style and what I will recommend. No matter how you build the PKM, the ADS speed will always be slow. So one way to get around that is to keep on spamming the ADS button so we are always in the ADS animation. This can cut the ADS time by half and allow us to ADS faster at crucial moments. Help spread this video by sharing this video around in your discord, instagram and other social media. And until next time, take care guys and bye.